So guys, I've had this camera for over six months now. Uh, had plenty of time to play with it and get to know it. I'd like to finally sit down and talk about it and let you know exactly what I think. You are now watching my camera review of the Panasonic GH4. All right, guys, so first impressions of this camera, I was pretty blown away by the image quality, uh, the color, the sharpness, just about everything about the image was absolutely gorgeous. It looked like I was recording real life, if not more beautiful. At first though, I was a little worried when it came to low light and like noise on this camera. Uh, there was just some weird distortion in some of the first shots that I took with this camera in these darker areas of the image. There's actually a feature on this camera called noise reduction and that turned all the way up actually created the distortion that I'm talking about. But once I took away the noise reduction and there was a little bit of grain back in the image from where the noise was in the dark areas, it wasn't as bad. A lot of what I've used the GH4 to do has been documentary work and just running gun shooting and for photography. It has a micro four thirds sensor and that gives it a crop. This camera takes 16 megapixel photos. And at first I was hoping that this camera would give me a good photograph. And I was pleasantly surprised with the results. Going from the T3i, this camera gave me stills that I was proud of. The image was so sharp. The colors were still so beautiful. And I've probably taken some of my best photographs with this camera. My lenses are interchangeable with my black magic are how small and compact each lens is. This is a 14 millimeter prime. I can run around with these and just change them on my camera really fast. Like I can keep these in my pocket. My zoom lens, a 14 to 140, which is like having like, um, like a 28 to 250. It's great, amazing focal length, but look, look how big this is. This is the size of my hand. This thing has a flip out screen. That is something that is very important to me. It also has a feature of focus peaking. It has an electronic viewfinder here. The other thing I love about this baby is the battery life. This is the battery port and takes these batteries. They actually last me. I can go through these uh, one, maybe maybe a one and a half, not even for an, an entire day. And I've gone through Canon batteries, like three or four for an entire day. I never have to worry about the battery. Honestly, I absolutely adore this camera. It is probably my favorite camera that I've shot on. This camera is so user-friendly and so comfortable to film with that I have definitely found myself using this camera a lot more often than my Blackmagic. It's designed in a way that once you know how to use it, it just becomes the easiest thing to just slip into and to turn on and to point and shoot. It's incredible. Even if you're just shooting things to be seen in 1080, I recommend using this camera to, as filming in 4K and then downscaling it later. I really like the 4K on this camera. The detail that you get with it um, is amazing and you're gonna want that detail later and it's even good for cropping in on an image uh, 
which you couldn't do with 1080 and make it look the same. So the other thing I love about this camera is its variable frame rate. It goes from 24 frames per second all the way to 96 frames per second. And that's one thing about the 5D that I didn't like very much, at, uh, that like you could only film at 720 in 60 frames per second. So you do get that slow motion, but it's not at the resolution that you would want it to be at. Um, and the thing that stood out to me and actually was one of the factors when I went to buying this camera was the fact that it can do this super slow-mo at such a high resolution. Sometimes I do 60 frames per second, sometimes I do 96, but it's great to have the option when you want to go slow-mo or you want to do something extreme and overly dramatic or just ridiculous. I had a T3i for the longest time and I absolutely loved that camera. Uh, it was my baby. It was my first DSLR. It was what I learned filmmaking with. It was a huge leap going from that camera to this one because this one was clearly a professional grade camera and it may not be at the same level as a RED or an ARRI Alexa um, and to me even some of the Black Magic. A lot of the things that were missing from the Black Magic were features. Like it didn't have slow motion and it couldn't film in 4K, it was not full frame. It just had this great image and another thing about it was it's not very user friendly. This camera however was ridiculously user friendly and had all the options in the world which is why I wanted it so badly. It had the option for 4K, it had that variable frame rate, um, and it had an image that to me looked just as good if not better than a 5D Mark III. And any camera that has that, even if this wasn't basically half the price of a 5D, I would still want this camera. This wasn't my first camera and most definitely will not be my last camera. Um, but I am very glad I got this camera. I would not make a different decision if I could go back. Almost perfect camera, but two things that I wanted to say that would have gotten this camera a 10 on a scale from one to 10, but missed the mark um, is it is not full frame and also about its low light capabilities. If a, like this camera's max is uh, 6400 and even then it's a little bit grainy, but I still think this is a lot better in low light than, than other cameras I've used in the past, but it is not a very good low light camera in any sense. Um, I wish it was because if this baby was full frame and if it was very good in low light, I would say that this was the ultimate camera of all time, but it is not. All right, guys, so that's what I think about the GH4. Uh, hopefully in the future, I will work with some more cameras and I will definitely review those as well. Um, I'm always working on new projects, so please check out my channel for upcoming productions and side videos. Um, I will see you guys next time and thank you for watching.